today. There are now 16 women that are 14 returners that are going to remember that and when we're struggling and we're being challenged, they're going to be able to draw upon this experience and and um, see what we do with it. And that's, you know, that's the beauty of sports. That's the beauty of what I, and that's the blessing I get is you just, you get to start again. And it's, um, uh, it's not, it's just, it's, it's weird because I, I, I'm disappointed, but I'm also like as proud of this group as I've been. Of, of, we've had, we have different challenges than any group I've ever worked with. And I, I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of my staff, and I'm proud of the girls. Well, I mean, even with all the challenges, you look at the point total, and it's within 20 points or so, the most yeah. ever scored is a new. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Because yeah. we definitely left 20 points in the stands. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so so we'll, uh, we'll just have to work harder. <laughs> Can you elaborate on some of those challenges that you're having with this particular group? Did you say they changed with group to group? What are well, some? Well, I, I, mean, I mean, I think the great thing about college athletics is, um, you know, it's a, college is a time where whether you're a world-class athlete or just a student, you're, you're growing, you're learning, you're figuring out who you want to be, you're on your own for the first time, and, and um, I don't think a lot of times when we read articles or about hitting a taper or, um, and there's, there's a lot more to um, what all of these women and men, whether it be swimming or whatever, are, are doing, and that's the beauty of the sport, sports, is it's learning skills about themselves that I think are going to translate into the next 30, 40, 50 years, and that's that's why Terry McKeever became a coach. I, I like the trophy as much as the next person, but that's that's what I want to do. And I feel very proud of the way I've addressed that every day this year. So I have to model that that's okay. You're, you're not always going to win, you know. And I, and I, the other thing I said to the girls is, you know, to be in the top three six years in a row, that's more than one person. That's more than one class. And consistency, in my opinion, is the way you excel in life. And so this is a consistent program of excellence, and these women know how to excel. So I, I'm happy with that. I was just talking with Elizabeth, and she mentioned that she wasn't quite fully here this weekend, but she's okay with that because the goal's more this summer and moving forward, looking ahead. Do you think that was the case for a lot of, for a few I, of your I sure as heck hope not, and I, I would challenge Elizabeth that that that's not the goal this last three weekends wasn't the goal looking ahead the goal was this part right here you know and everyone's entitled to their own perspective but I don't think you have to sacrifice one for the other I think the goal is to be present and be competitive every time that that's required you know and and I, I love Elizabeth to death and I think she she gave it her best shot and um, those are those are her growth growth challenges but you know big big question that a lot of people want to know is how the transition's been with Missy after her freshman year. Um, how has that changed the dynamics of the team with your not only Missy but having a very strong incoming freshman class, Selena Lee, and many others that were top eight this year already? I don't. I don't know how it changes it because I don't. I don't have anything to draw upon. You know. I mean, the thing I can draw upon is every year is different, and and. Next year, if I had the same group of women and didn't bring in anyone new, it would be different because they're all moving in different places, and that's that's what's awesome about it, you know, and challenging about it at the same time. I mean, Missy's done a great job, and I think her performances indicate that she's, and you know, she's as good as ever. So, were you happy with your decision to have her swim the 500? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You think that's going to be the lineup moving forward? I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. All right, thanks.